But remember, we're talking about $2 trillion, $54 billion compared to $2 trillion. You can do the math. We can all do the math. Two trillion? Sounds like a slip up from the Senate Majority Leader on the true cost of health care reform, or was that just a down payment? Republican Congressman Cynthia Luna says that the spending will certainly get into the trans and beyond. Congresswoman, I mean, I remember the Everett Berkson day, you know, was it a million or a billion there? And then and now we're up to trillions. I, what, where is this going? Well, I tend to believe the numbers that I've seen from Senate Republicans and from Cato that say that this is going to cost more than $1.8 trillion. Then you add to that the fact that states are going to receive unfunded mandates. They're going to be required to spend money that they don't have and that they can't print in order to subsidize additional Medicare patients. That on top of the fact uh, that we have more debt than George Washington through George W. Bush combined and that since uh, our new president took office, we are doubling the debt in five years, tripling it in 10. Uh, it starts to become frightening. All right. Well, you know, the Democrats come right back at you Republicans and say, well, you're, you're fine ones to judge. I mean, you got us going on this in, in, in hyperdrive. What do you say? I say I ran for Congress as a Republican because I was not happy with what my predecessors as Republican leadership decided to do with spending. They did spend too much money. But the answer to that is not to take a half a trillion dollars in deficits and make it twice as bad, three times as bad in 10 years. It's, but what, it's, what, you know, uh, Congresswoman, this train has left the station, as I said once or twice on this show, without breaks. And, 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 and uh, I guess Republicans can, can whine and moan about it, but you know, you, you know as well as I do, you're in the minority and going nowhere fast as far as getting your way on legislation unless you score well next year. So what do you do in the meantime? The American people have been responding and talking themselves about uh, this reckless spending and calling their members of Congress. It makes a difference when people call their members of Congress. So I encourage people to continue to do it. Well, Say apparently they have, though, Congresswoman. And, and what, I don't know who's right on this. The Democratic leadership says, you know what? The, the, the virulent, very, very you know, kind of histrionic uh, opposition has subsided. Now it's leveling out. Uh, a slight majority want, you know, something done on health care. More seem to be aligned to the Democrats. That's what they say. And that the, the, this escalating protest has ebbed. What do you say? Neil, the Republicans and I want something done on health care as well. But we would rather see a number of incremental steps taken over the next 12 months that we can afford and absorb and that will be targeted to solve specific problems. It won't like the happen. I, I think you're right, Garza. There are a lot of people who say, you know, tinker before you blast, but they're, they're going to blast. And that's the argument. We need to do something big and powerful. Let's say they get their way or something even close to their way. What do you envision? Well, if they blast with House Resolution 3400, which is a comprehensive Republican bill, it's totally paid for. If they blast with a Democrat bill, it's going to take the deficits through the ceiling once again, uh, saddling unsustainable debt and deficits on our children and grandchildren. Man, oh man. It's crazy stuff. Congressman, th thanks for coming on a Friday night. We appreciate it. You're welcome, Neil. All right, when it comes to fixing health care,